Good morning! Do you know what a good no is? A good no is the response you get from a prospect after the initial pitch to gain an appointment. A good no allows you to follow up with a different approach. A bad no ends the conversation. For example, if you called looking for the person who buys the print, label, signage, packaging, wide format, or whatever, and you were lucky enough to get through saying something like, can I come talk to you about ways I can help save you money? You are likely to get a conversation killing response, a bad no. But instead, if you call with a specific idea to say, lower the usage cost of their documents or increase their value, and the client said no, that's still a good no. It allows you to counter and build a brand. Here, let me demonstrate. Let's say you were calling on the admissions director of a small college and you had an idea to help them with enrollment. Here's what a good no sounds like. Hi, my name is Bill Farquharson. I'm calling from Epicom Print and Mail. I saw an article in the Wall Street Journal recently that said that college applications were down 1.7% overall and 9% for smaller schools. I would imagine this is of concern to you. I'd like to come talk to you about a way that I've got to help you to attract the best candidates possible for your college. Now, if the prospect responds something like, well, that's not a current issue for us, their good no still allows you to come back with, all right then, if admissions number aren't a problem for you, what is on your front burner? My job is to help my clients meet their business needs. I'd be interested to know yours. Perhaps I can help. The difference between a good no and a bad no comes down to the thought and preparation you put into the call before you make the call. That's called pre-call research and it's the single most important step and skill any sales rep can have.